Love can pop up anywhere, even while volunteering. That was the case for one Vancouver Island couple who met while volunteering at a Habitat for Humanity Restore in Langford. Eric and Denise Christensen, both in their 60s, will be celebrating their one-year wedding anniversary this April after tying the knot at the very same store where they met. And we welcome them now. Hello, Eric and Denise. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us this week for our Love Week. I love your story. Let's talk a little bit uh, with Eric first about how you, you know, first set your eyes on Denise and, and when you thought you were falling in love. We, we had this bond and it actually, before we announced that we were a couple, I guess the people at the restore kind of kind of figured out that, hey, these two really get along really, really well. So when we <laughs> told them... <laughs> what was going on they said oh well we weren't surprised and i i absolutely love that you got married where you first met and denise let's just take a trip back for you as well um what was it that really attracted you to um to eric you know when you were volunteering was it did you find that things were you had things in common or was it his personality that you loved was it the fact that you guys were volunteering together and had you know that good heart to give back in that way well we do we did have a do did have a lot in common so that kind of you know we chat all the time and and then, you know, towards the, towards when we got to know each other, it would be like, that would be more the reason you're going than to volunteer sometimes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it uh, just sort of happened, I guess. It, it didn't happen right away, certainly, but you just kind of missed each other mm -hmm. when you weren't there. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I love that. And, and so oh, you... I Sorry, what I love about it is yeah. um, we we both volunteered to give back to the community, and we ended up getting much more back than what we uh, we we felt like we got as much much uh, as much feedback back as what we gave. So it was yeah. it was really it was really it was really neat. Yeah, very very meaningful, very special. And and Denise, uh, or sorry, yeah, Denise, um, when you got married in the restore again, the place where you met, you know. What did that mean to you? Was it was it super special because you met there? Well, I have to say no. It really wasn't special in that sense. But you know, getting married in a restore is not entirely special in that traditional <laughs> sense. But it was humorous, and I think we were both had a. We wanted to follow through with with just the, the theme at the time, I guess. Yeah, and then um, we. we we just wanted to be together. We just wanted to get married, and um, doing it at Restore was 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 perfect for us. We thought it would be fun. Yeah, we thought it would be fun. Very unique. And we certainly <laughs> and both and, and both being married before, we didn't want to we didn't want a big display. We just wanted to go get married and start our lives. And I guess the reason we were in such a hurry to start was. We're getting up in years and we just want to spend as much time as possible as we could in the future together. Oh, that's so beautiful. And Eric, did you find uh, volunteering and spending so many hours together, did that really help you bond and and uh, get to know each other on a bit of a different oh. level than, you know, regular dating here and there uh, might really have that impact? Yeah, well, we work together side by side, you know, working on projects and stuff. and. You know, when you're with somebody so much and you're and, and, and you're doing tasks and jobs and stuff, it's the perfect time to talk. And the more we talk, the more we had in common. And uh, yeah, it, it, not to not to not to sound corny, but it was meant to be, I think. Nothing corny about that. Absolutely beautiful. Now, since you guys are coming up to your or celebrating your one year, let's talk advice. Um, Denise, do you have any advice for people who are, you know, still searching for their special someone? Well, just stop searching and make it happen. So are you guys going to have your one year celebration at the Restore as well? <laughs> Anniversary I party? So. No, <laughs> I don't maybe think so. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe branch out, try a, new, a few new things. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you to both of you for joining us today and sharing a little bit of your love story.
thanks for reaching out to us. We really appreciate it.